Hey YouTube, this is Kevin Bowen of Bowen Small Engine Guys, and I am continuing off my prior videos in regards to this three and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton cool bore from the early 70s. Uh, in the other video, guys, I had mentioned a fair amount about valves and why it's imperative that you grind your valves, okay, and grind your seats. Or in this case, we're actually going to use the new wave valve seat cutter to cut the seats. Okay. The reason that this is important, guys, to actually grind the seats or cut the seats after you potentially grind your valves is so you make proper contact on this face of this valve. Okay. And as you can see, this valve has a really nice margin. There's no issues here. And you can see the face is beautifully ground by my valve grinder. And of course, here's the exhaust. I'll try to get it in view. I apologize for the light, guys. It's not the best in here, but it's the best I can do. Now, I will be using the new wave valve seat cutter. And I'll try to show you guys quickly what that looks like. As you can see, I have a 46 degree cutter. Try to get this in the light the best I can, guys. I apologize. Hopefully you guys will be able to pick up on that. And I think there's potentially a 31 degree that's on this side. I really like the new wave valve seat cutters. Honestly, I think they're superior to the valve grinding, okay? Or the valve seat grinder, I should say. Uh, but in any event, they both do work, all right? So I want to show you potentially what a lot of people will do when they buy a new valve and they try to mount it into their existing block without basically grinding the seats or uh, cutting the seats. Now in this case I'm going to use this intake valve. I'm going to put the exhaust away. And I'm going to use this intake valve. And as you guys can see it's been ground. It's perfectly fine. Very acceptable, very usable. No issues, okay? But after I do this and apply the layout fluid to both the valve and the seat you're going to see that its contact, okay, will be extremely high on this valve, okay? And you don't want that. You want its contact to be somewhat in the center of this valve. Face, shall we say. All I'm gonna do is apply some uh, layout fluid. I'm giving it a generous amount. And of course, I am going to do the intake valve as well, so you guys can see there's no gimmicks here. And you'll see why it's so imperative that you uh, grind both your valves and your seats. Or like I said, cut the valves and the seats. You can do it either way. But don't think because you ground your valves that you're just going to potentially be able to take them home slap them back in the, the engine and that it's going to potentially work because more often than not the engine's going to get hot it's going to expand and you're going to have issues where the engine is running erratic cutting off overheating I've seen that before too so that's the reason that I'm making this video is to show you guys why that potentially happens. And quite honestly, how misleading some people can be on YouTube. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the valve. And then I'm going to show you contact, okay, in the seat. I'm doing this a little hard, guys, but I want you guys to be able to see it. Now, 
Now hopefully you guys are going to be able to see that on camera. I'm hoping. I'll try to shine it down here in the light. If you look closely, you're going to see that it's really high on the face of this valve. It's not quite where it really needs to be. It needs to be more in the center. And I'll try to turn this. Here's a good example. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to see that. That's actually riding too high on that valve. If you have new valves, brand new valves, it may potentially be too low. So you really want to find that uh, sweet spot right in the center, guys. That's what you're actually aiming for. And that's the purpose behind actually grinding the valves and grinding the seats, or cutting the valves or cutting the seats, depending on which method you, you go with, okay? So what I'm potentially going to do at this point where I've showed you guys the contact area is I'm going to shut off the camera and I'm going to actually cut the seats, place the valves in, and then show you where the contact should actually be being made on the face of this valve. Until the next video, YouTubers.